Loneliness and isolation damage not only the physical and mental health of those they impact, but also their social cohesion. In seven Northern European countries, universities, municipalities, companies and associations have joined forces to move from isolation to inclusion as part of the European Eye to Eye project. We know that people who are lonely and isolated, they uh, are in risk of being depressed. They can also be in risk of uh, different illnesses. And uh, therefore it was very important for us to deal with these issues, to see how we can include people and help them to have more quality of their lives. Here in Norway, in Arendal, the European Eye to Eye project focuses on transportation as a tool for inclusion. Björg can book a minibus to go to the doctor or the social center. All she has to do is use the project's application or make a phone call, and the bus will conduct door-to-door -door service. Yes, they pick us up wherever we want. We can get out a lot more than if we did not have the service. And on top of that, they help us with the shopping, taking it right up to our door. They are very friendly. <laughs> Seven countries across the European continent, Denmark, Sweden, Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany, the United Kingdom and Norway, have carried out more than 45 activities with an eye to eye. The project focuses on using innovation as a shield against isolation. Elsa lives alone, and she benefits from the screen installed by this pilot program. Her family can talk to her and send her photos and messages without Elsa having to press a single button. Yes, I use it when they call me. Sometimes every day. The beautiful thing about the screen is that she doesn't have to answer because she doesn't know how and she doesn't have to. It's just a countdown. It's really easy to use. She just has to be in the room. The total budget of eye to eye is just over 3 million euros, of which 1.3 million come from the EU cohesion policy. 25 organizations and companies in Northern Europe are taking part in the project, like the social center, run by volunteers in Arendal, which offers meals and proposes various activities linked to people's social inclusion and well-being. We have a song cafe where they have the accordion and they sing and they at the same time get to exercise their lung capacity and they laugh a lot. 